Okay, we don't have to word it like that. Oh, I'm gonna eat this up. No! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, gay schools, and everyone in between to our YouTube channel, The, the Horror Bandwagon. Bandwagon. <laughs> I'm in Mr. Gio. And my name is Cody. And we are boys for horror analysis. Criticism. And spooky. Okay. And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. And welcome back to another Charmed Reaction. Today we are covering season one, episodes 13 and 14. Yes, we are in the midst of the show now. But what I really want to get into, which it's a whole last season. Like, I'm sure we're going to have to wait a little bit. Mm -hmm. But we just found out that Prue kind of just told Andy that yeah there was a creature shit was happening i don't know if, if that's gonna go over andy's head or if we're going to face it head on in the next two episodes i don't know i mean we do know from the very beginning andy was a little bit into the supernatural stuff so yeah but we also know that like andy said no to prue when it came to the witch stuff maybe he he likes the witch stuff but he doesn't want to have like relationships with witch stuff well it's sort of like how i think cults are interesting but if you were a cult leader it would be an issue uh you know what that's perfect <laughs> Now, before we get started, y'all know what to do. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. And if you want to support the channel even more, you can go over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash the horror bandwagon, or you can click the join button below to join our YouTube membership. And finally, don't forget to check out our Discord where you can talk to us about Charmed and anything else that is on your mind. The link is going to be in the description below. But without further ado, with the power of three, let's get into it. Normally I am, but not on the eve of Friday the 13th. In fact, I kind of want to be closed by midnight. All right, well, we won't be much longer, will we, Phoebes? What are you doing there at wanting to be there until 1 a.m.? 11.59 Oh, my PM. God. Big decision. If they all bring good luck, what's the worst that can happen if you choose the wrong one? All right, you know, this is why I like shopping with Piper. <laughs> and this is why bad things are going to happen now. You know, tomorrow I have a job interview, and and the good luck charm is going to help you get the job. How much? Twenty five fifty plus tax. I love Phoebe's outfit. It's like a nice, cute turtle's a turtleneck with a leather jacket, mm -hmm. and I love the color. Obsessed. What makes you think that we would be interested? Most witches are. We never said that we were witches. Yeah. What do you mean by this, girl? Is there a problem? I told you I just, I, I wanted to be closed before midnight. Wow, you really take this Friday the 13th stuff. Girl, you probably should have told him like 10 minutes before. The clock struck 13. It's starting already. Do you want to just honor her wishes and leave? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's also like, oh, I, I have to go really slowly because this is very scary. Uh, oh! Yes, girl. I love an entrance. I thought he was going to break into song. He's <laughs> kind of giving me David Bowie vibes. I said we're closed. Okay, then why knock? <laughs> Amulets don't work. What? With this demon. Oh, God. Greatest fear is being buried alive in an earthquake. Oh no. Does he bring your fears to life? <laughs> oh no, he's scary. I don't want to mess with him. That's pretty cool. He knows which are the witches. Uh -huh. Okay. He knows which witch is which. <laughs> Damn, I'm sorry, girl. And this is why. Don't go into a store when they're really about to close. Yes, that's a lesson to learn from this. <laughs> <guys. laughs> Nothing bad has happened. about it when has she ever said it to you i don't remember that's cute that's a yeah. cute outfit 
Morning. Oh, good morning. Oh, that outfit looks great on you. Thank you for giving it to me. We were just saying that, girls. We're on the same page. It felt so safe. I wish I had dreams like that. Mom would have to knock before she came into your dreams. Oh! <laughs> Piper's coming up with, like, really good zingers lately. Need all the help I can get. Don't you think that you're overdoing it just a little bit? With all the warlocks and demons we've seen? I don't think so. Yeah. And we're just starting out, girl. That any relationship started on Friday the 13th is doomed. More bad things happen on Friday the 13th because people put energy into belief. My brother was born on Friday the 13th. Worst decision ever. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> love you, bro. I love you. Yeah, me too. Damn, that sucks. Uh, Prue, there's a policeman here to see you. See you later, Andy. We're running late. Did it get more dapper? I don't know. He's looking good. All single females, all under 30. One was a bookstore owner. Credit card company's records show you were her last customer. Damn, this is so bad. I, at this point, go into witness protection program. You can call it the witchness protection program. <laughs> yes. Contorted and tear, just like all the others. If I didn't know any better, I'd say they were literally scared to death. I mean, I am going to say, I don't think her face was giving scared to death because she was just... Like, I'm expecting like a... Yeah, like, like a frozen, like you're frozen yes. in place. Yeah, 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 I hear you. Is that clinically, like, correct? Like, can you be scared to death? Well, I mean, it would probably just be that you had a heart attack, but heart attacks can be brought on by stress. He feeds on the fears of witches for his survival. Mom's handwriting. Oh, did she, like, come face to face with him? That would be cool if their mom was like, I fucked him up. Well, it did say he only appears once every 1,300 years, and... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. He's undressing you with his mind, and he's Ooh. down to white cotton. Okay, well, don't stare for too long, girl. Written in the book. Well, she must have known that this demon would appear in our lifetime, and she wanted to warn us against him. I don't like the sound of that. That's a good theory. Imagine, like, having to, like, leave this world and just being like, I really hope for the best that they, they I'm going to warn them, but it's all on them. On the most wanted list and we're defenseless. Didn't mom say anything about how to get rid of him? Just to release our fear. How do we do that? You got to face your fear. You got to stare them down. Yeah. At a restaurant, you'll be fine. And since Phoebe's afraid of being trapped in an elevator, I'll tell her to take the stairs. And you'll stay away from pools. Ever since mom drowned, you've been terrified of the one. Oh, she got you drowned? Oh my God, that's so sad. Mm -hmm. Zoe listed as a contact. I'm hoping that she can help. So just call Phoebes and let her know what's up, okay? Okay. Now, their mom died young because they mentioned oh, early, yeah. like in the first episode, that they all got together because Grams, their grandmother, passed away. And they inherited the house from her. I, I see, so they were I raised see. by their grandmother. And she died so young that Phoebe doesn't really have any memories of her. Oh. Are you serious? I got the job? I can spot talent when I see it. Can you start today? Uh, yeah. Yes, of course. <laughs> oh, that would be a no for me. I would be like, can I start tomorrow? Like, I need the rest of the day to celebrate, you know? It's the phones. Taking a romantic midweek break. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, which reminds Ooh. me. She's got a very hard thing waiting for her. You have my patron number, so have fun. Okay. Wow, leaving her everything to do mm -hmm. on the first day. See, you this just is need why to I answer the phone. You don't need to know any, like, be able to answer any questions. I mean, I guess, yeah. I guess it's not too bad. I think I would be able to do it. There's nothing for you here. Oh, you couldn't be more wrong, witch. He says witch like he means bitch. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> witch. All mortal fears. My inner strength will destroy you. Fuck your shit up. No. Please. Save it. For another lifetime. Oh my god. I spoke too soon. I thought she had it in the bag.
<laughs> sorry, sorry. Just a look on their face just gets me. But Peru like went in there, guns a blazing without a plan. Though I also think white really worked on her. Mm -hmm. She looked great with white hair. Heart gave out just like the others. I can't believe you're wearing the cereal shoes again. They're my good luck charm. Oh, they're embarrassing. Wait, no, they're cute. Stop. What size? <laughs> so, I just want to know how big your feet are. That's all. They're signing log. Want to guess who the last person was to see the victim? God. I'm gonna guess the killer. Damn it. Pro. It's Pro. Pro is killing these women. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, all three of them should have been like locked up and thoroughly investigated. Please, day runner. Some of the names in it have got to be witches. I'll start making phone calls. <sighs> oh, 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 quick! Throw some over your shoulder. Yeah, you gotta throw it all over your shoulder. I never remember if it's the left or the right shoulder that you're. I don't either, so I'm fucked. <laughs> I will do it wrong. Actually, Grams once told me that whatever direction it flies in, you can find your ideal mate. We gotta try it. I didn't hear about that, but let's see what it does. Oh, so does a positive superstition cancel out a negative one? I don't know. <laughs> Should have thrown this. You know what, Piper? Don't even say. Listen, I, I, I'm not, I'm not super superstitious, but like, if there's a ladder, I won't walk under it. I'll go around it. You uh, don't know if you're free tonight. Well, um, dinner would be great. There you go, girl. I mean, playing hard to get also works a little bit. Crew. Oh my God. That's not fair. You can't just fill up my shower with water. In trouble. Are you there? Crew, are you there? Hello? Crew, pick up. Damn, and now he knows where she's at. <sighs> not good, ladies. I do love that, like, you see the shadow pass over their face as yeah. he's, like, reading their fear. Thank you for making it so easy. Damn. On top of like telling your fear, he also has to like look like you're there naked. No. Okay, come on, bro. Yes, yes. Andy always just being there at the wrong time, but today is the good time. You okay? I don't know. Yeah, bro, get out. Put it, you just gotta get a towel. <laughs> oh, oh, that's gonna oh, be that's so much water I know, damage. So much you're gonna have to uh, do. What exactly are you implying? Pro, if you were in my shoes, what would you think? First of all, nobody should be in those shoes. <laughs> <laughs> The look that she gave him. That wasn't pain on your face, that was fear. Pro! Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, wow, that was really in sync. Yes, I would, I saw it. Pro. He came oh, really close wait. to me. Oh, wait. This is giving very Nancy Thompson. Mm -hmm. This whole demon is very Freddy Krueger. It's very weird. They had two plot points that had to do with like Freddy Krueger in this something in the book about releasing fears maybe it's just not obvious there's something in the book about being released from your job because you left it on your first day oh my god of all powers that wasn't there this morning you know maybe because of all the stress you've been under no phoebe it wasn't there all right it's in mom's handwriting i would <gasps> maybe each sister possesses the power to reveal ev everything as it goes or maybe their mom's spirit is here to watch over them and it's like helping them out mama Thank just you. Kill no. I mean, you can't just start with mama. <laughs> I love you. Me too. Hey, why do you do that? Okay, some healthy communication. That's what I've been asking for. Yeah, I said it to mom. It was the last thing I said to her before she died. Before she drowned? Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Wait, I'm gonna cry right now. No. It's fine, it's fine. Are you okay? Me? 
Yeah, you seem kind of. I don't, know. I don't like the way you approached it, sir. Also, I don't know why, but I thought that he got fired. No, no, no. He will. He proposed to the girl. Oh, right, 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 right. From far and wide, take my troubles and brush them aside. Oh no! Uh... <laughs> oh, you're Susan's husband. Unless she's got one that I don't know about. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Went out. Okay, well, I think we established that. Do you know where? <sighs> uh, You're not good at this, girl. She should have interviewed you for that. For not lying to me about Susan's affair. I've tried to deny it for some time now, but I guess there comes a time when you have to face the truth. I thought it was a test by Susan. Like, you passed. Oh. <laughs> I don't know the, the, the history behind Susan's marriage but i think she missed out that guy was super cute mm -hmm. and the other guy whatever how susan's supposed to show me and she's not here uh i'm sorry but she must have forgotten uh she's out for the rest of the mm -mm -mm -mm. don't you go anywhere but you know since you flew in and all I, I guess i can show you the property what's the address no i'm not gonna go somewhere where they tell me the address this is joffy hello Already unlocked. This is suspicious. Hello, dear. Thanks so much for coming out. Oh! He's even scarier when he, he approaches your face. Your greatest fear is losing a sister, and I get two for one. Stop. This is so sweet and disturbing. Hello? Prue, it's Phoebe. I got stuck at a house I was showing. Can you come get me? Yeah. The manipulation. This guy will stop at nothing. I got the sense this morning that you were totally turned off to me. How odd. So, what's it like? Pictures of him. <laughs> you sound too good to be true. Oh! Wait! No, this has to be under personal gain. You are too good to be true. <laughs> Lint. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice little cover up. Because of a superstition, but then decided I was worth going out with only because of another superstition. It's complicated, dude. Well, I just had an experience like that with uh, my last girlfriend and uh, <laughs> it was a disaster. Well get to know us a little bit like it is friday the 13th i don't know everyone is allowed to have their own red flags i know i'm just protective of piper I, i'm protective of piper too i'm in the backyard you won't believe the view from here just the way that she's saying it does not seem realistic come on girl and there's a pool no Oh no, oh no. <gasps> you must face your fears, Prue. Who is that? You must trust in the greatest. Is it's that their mama. mom? <gasps> oh. Yeah, bitch, and what? Oh, mama planned for this. She was like, don't worry, I got you, girls. I'm not afraid anymore. That's all it took? Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. See you in another 1,300 years. I'm just glad you're safe. I don't oh. know what would happen if I ever lost you. Oh. I love you. I love you. <gasps> Character growth. Character growth. And Piper is, doesn't even know. <laughs> Prue vanquished the demon of fear. <laughs> At least put him back in the bottle for another 1,300 years. Wait, whoa, what? <laughs> yeah, you missed a lot. <laughs> so peaceful, and she took my hand and brought me to the surface. That doesn't sound crazy. I wish I could have seen her. I hope they all have a chance to, like, see her in some sort of way. And this isn't going to mean nothing to you, but for those of you in the audience, something that I just noticed for the first time is a very specific sound that happened when that happened. And we can talk about it later. 
when you like which are more this does now. not invite a conversation about spoilers no I'm just, <laughs> I, I just noticed it for the first time so sound off in the comments if you know what i'm talking about Oh, that was so sweet. Oh man, what an episode. All right, guys, so that was our reaction to episode 13 from Fear to Eternity. I think it was a really great episode, a really great villain, I think. I The way that he kind of seemed a little bit messed up, like he was just like ruthless and kind of dived deep into people's fears but also their personal lives which mm -hmm. i really liked and i think his acting was very good he is one of my favorite charmed villains and this is not a spoiler but we will see him again oh okay well he died so he was <laughs> sent back to hell it's different than dying. where he belongs though while watching this i was thinking wow this is kind of like a witch slasher film right now like he's just making his rounds killing people mm -hmm. and like you could really like instead of scaring them to death which i think is what you know regular mortals would would um i mean they're mortals too yeah. but like <laughs> but like regular people would just see the the aftermath right of them being scared to death but like for us to see like that one witch who maybe like burned alive or so like get to the gory bits like if this show was kind of unrated and maybe the first girl was just like kind of hit with debris and like oh, exploded yeah, I, or something like that i think like, if I, this were made today we would have seen something like, like a more r-rated version of this would be kind of badass and scary um which i really i just saw so that means that i just really liked it i think performance was great i really liked that we kind of dive deep into like what happened to their mom and everything. So I hope we get more of that. But you know the deal, we are gonna go right into the next episode. Here you go. Oh my, oh my god. god! I was not with this jump scare. This is too much. Yeah, yeah. It's just our little secret, right? Yeah. Just trying to sit down, have some dinner. This is one way to start your episode. A good witch is a clean witch. I think we should spring clean like this more often. Oh, I if we could, if it's allowed, I would be doing that. Yes. This is where the Matilda thing. Left animals without eyeballs. Dollies that look like they've oh. been through the mill once or twice. Oh no. Phoebe, you could never keep a secret. Oh, that is so not true. Okay, maybe Prue's surprise birthday party. Guess again. You knew? And she had to act like she was surprised. Oh no. Oh, is this the secret sur surprise bar birthday party earlier this episode? I think earlier so. this season? Oh, okay, okay much violence and then you add the evil demons and it's a pretty scary place to raise kids in besides i don't really think i'm cut out to be a mom oh don't say that all right you try anything you're dead and so is your old man you got that kid mm -hmm. come on he's oh. up on a mickey i would be so scared as my kid brother said somehow like magic he turned off the arcade alarm system from across the street and got him inside oh this gets a hacker or he's a witch. <laughs> Gagged. Oh no, not again. <laughs> what to say? <laughs> Help Max. Oh my God, he is a witch. Oh, here we go, yeah. Get ready, y'all. Here we go, yeah. I am the sun. I am the, sun. Sun. I am the, the air. air. <laughs> the lyrics is kind of sad. I'm human, I wanna be loved. Just like everyone else. But it's already too late. My hope is gone. Damn! So maybe Max is a ghost. Speaking of the house, did you see Cody's shirt? Here, let me. You don't see it down there, but it says Hallowell Manor. It's Harry, the new chef at Quake. He threw out all my hunkle knives. Apparently he prefers Forschners. You follow any of that? Yeah, I didn't know. What's the difference, girl? Give you me don't more. touch a chef's knives. That's the number one rule. That's fair. 
And maybe Piper can... Look, wait, I'm the manager. If I say I want Henkels, then I want... Hello? Ooh! <laughs> Nothing, like, makes me mad. Like, someone just cutting me off by hanging up. <gasps> Ding dong. <laughs> ah! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Um, I'm better now, too. Yes, I'm better, yeah. too! Hey, stranger. Now tell me everything you know. He said, I heard there was a lot of water damage from last episode. <laughs> oh, that's true. Is that a spirit board? Uh, this? Yeah, it is. Um, I'm just taking it to the auction house. I just look at it now. It's like super fancy. Uh-huh. We still can't have it in the house. I know. Not even the, the charmed version? No. Not unless we are the charmed ones. You and I in bourbon. <laughs> no idea why. You've never met him. Really don't have any idea who he is. Is that about right? Okay, fine. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. I hear a lot of stories in my line of work, but yours are always very entertaining. Thank you. Don't speak to me like I'm a child. Your voice doesn't do you justice. You're actually attractive. Girl, if you don't make him like freeze him, put his hand on the grill. Now my crab ravioli, there's a specialty. Hmm. Crab ravioli does sound really good, actually. <laughs> Are you gonna put his head on the grill? Because I would have. <gasps> oh! <laughs> All right, that's good. You don't you don't end up harming anybody. Might be a while. Maybe I should talk to Leo. Sure. Hold on a sec. <gasps> oh my oh! god! Oh! Phoebe! Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Wait, 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 think about it. If I was a warlock and I wanted to hurt you, don't you think I would have done it the last time I was here? Okay. That is a very good point, sir. Tell me everything. And what are you? Uh, what? What? He's a but he can move things. He can, like, restore the book. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, sorry, I'm yelling, guys. I'm really sorry about what happened to your mom, okay? It's a tough break. But you want to make sure something doesn't happen to your dad, don't you? That's, wow, that is cold. That is messed Very up. Very rude. Your Anne, go do what you gotta do and leave us alone, all right? Hey. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Stop it! I want to save this kid. I know. What exactly is a white lighter? Oh, we're really just messengers? Guys? Messengers? Think what? of us as guardian angels for good witches. Guardian angels for good witches. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cool. They're like, you're good witches, so you're getting a reward. Just got your powers. Yeah, help out wherever I could. Sent by who? Whom? They're a group of elder white lighters. Elder white lighters? Oh, we're getting lore. Uh, actually, I'm here to help a boy named Max. Max? Yes. Wait, that's the, the... the spirit board. Oh, so is he kind of just like in town? So you might as well just say, hey, guys. Prue received his cry for help. That's why I was sent here. And that's all I'm supposed to do for now. The rest is up to Prue. Yeah, but Prue doesn't know. A magical good guy. Leo is even like 10 times harder. And it's not fair, honestly. <laughs> honestly, it's been so hard not. <laughs> yeah, thank you everybody for not spoiling it. Or she's gonna think that- I know, I know, and that's where I need your help. You see, white lighters and witches aren't allowed to fall in love. <gasps> what? Oh, forbidden love! Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna eat this up! Do you know who was in the front seat? Just that they shot and wounded a security guard at the scene. Okay, the security guard is not dead. Oh, phew. What's wrong? He wanted to tell me something, but uh, he was scared. He was afraid to say anything. What are you writing? Nothing. Man, I just need Andy to know so you can work together. It would be really helpful if they like had a, a friend cop who knew yeah, and could help them out. Exactly, on the down low. Who kidnapped the auto shop? <laughs> He's not under control. I need more crab for my ravioli because someone threw it all away and I just got five more orders, Pepper. It's the, it's the line of like, you know, 
leadership is he just like on top of the manager position because i think that they're at equal levels because i think piper is front of house manager. you can't also be treating me like this girl you can't all right goodbye mr franklin you're gonna have to tell me there we go give them a little you know razzle dazzle and, and i don't know how long my work will keep me away what you just said to her was as much as you'd love to stay and have sex with her you've got a wife and kids in another yeah mm -hmm. yeah this is weird don't break our heart come on i need more me time before we can have we time and my personal <laughs> favorite it's not you it's me avoid avoid red alert red flag and a hell of a lot easier to handle a family secret had it been revealed a lot sooner. Maybe she was afraid of how you would react. I know she has a lot of experience with that. She should have told me. Maybe if she had, I would have been better able to protect Max. That's a good point. Because he, right now, look at his position. Danny, his brother, works at one over in Oakland. Is Danny the friend that broke into the arcade with Max? Got an address? got a lead love it love to see it but i also love like this is prue also kind of dealing with her inability to tell andy and concern yeah. of like what he might do look your dad he's waiting for you you know my dad yeah <gasps> and who the hell are you <laughs> <laughs> wow i did think about this earlier Can Prue technically like snap necks. Oh, totally. Whoa. Nap time's over. Wake up. Ew, don't fucking touch me like that. When I flick that little switch. When I flick that little switch and Max here takes a nap. Along. <gasps> Vicky, why don't- Shut up! You're setting yourself even deeper in trouble, mm -hmm. guys. What is it with the two of you? What do you like, magicians or freaks in nature? Aliens, what? Witches. <laughs> <laughs> you're laughing at that even though you just mentioned aliens all right now you're allowed to snap his neck that's yeah those I are think the rules, you can. right i'm a freak oh. my dad hates it too he hates me <gasps> no no he doesn't. you're talking to my heartstrings okay okay oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah this comes full circle because she said earlier in the show, she doesn't think she's cut out to be a mom. Got it. Sorry, small mutiny in the kitchen. Where were we? Piper, there's something I need to tell you. Oh God, here it comes. I can't, uh... I can't believe how much I missed you. Ah, uh, Leo! Oh, but I'm also just fluttering. Well, here's something else you might not want to think about. Piper said that Prue had everything under control. Well, I can't find her. I don't know. I think you should tell her. So talking through it would be a lot easier. I mean, it you might know? be easier to deal with if she knows that he's a white lighter and the rules forbid their relationship. Exactly. It's going to suck, but it's a lot better than getting told a lie. Who's in trouble? Oh, the 49ers. <laughs> no secondary. They need a really good draft pick next year. Honestly? Good made up lie on the spot. Oh. <laughs> Phoebe? Phoebe, I know you're not in the kitchen. That is so weird. I was just on my way back. <laughs> <laughs> you're married. No. Engaged. Um, I'm involved. But it's okay, we don't have to word it like that. Let's face it, you're uh geographically undesirable. I mean, you said you live really far away, right? Damn, all her exes and loved ones just not there. I've had to figure it out all by myself, which means so can you. Especially with your dad's help. You can do it, kid. You can do it. I wish you could be my mom right now. <gasps> so. My heart. Max? Dad! Okay. Don't shoot. Girl, I would have brought the cops with me. I beg you, please. He's my son. Oh my God. Let him go. I beg you, please. Sorry. You're evil. <gasps> <gasps> what? No way. This dude's an asshole. They just killed his dad.
that must honestly be such a hard power to like master to be able to see everything there and move it. Yeah. This is gonna take a while. That's a lot of money. I don't want you two getting any ideas. What'd she do? I think that she's convincing him to turn off the like mechanism inside his belt. Oh. Hold it right there! Drop it! Oh. Oh. oh, she helped him out. Okay, mm -hmm. good, good, good. I was like, are you helping them? All right, Prue. Yeah, right back at you. Pause chaos. Yes! Oh, perfect. Yes. Thank God. They were annoying. Oh, is this Leo? Paulette. Paulette, you've changed. Oh, Leo. He really is a garden angel. Mm -hmm. It's a miracle. Thank you. Thank you for protecting my son. Oh. I'm just glad it worked out. Prue's a fucking superhero. I hope you both can forgive me. Oh, this is beautiful. He didn't even get to say goodbye to Leo. What is that supposed to mean? I don't know. It was just weird. I felt like... He was holding something back from me. Oh, for sure. He did not do a good job. <laughs> hey, you don't have to beat it out of me. Leo is a white lighter. They're sort of guardian angels for witches. <laughs> and they're not supposed to get involved with witches, but- Oh my God, baby! <laughs> what? Baby, that's, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <laughs> You're not gonna believe her? Salvation Army. Well, like you said, we should save some for our children. Do I sense a hormonal shift here? <laughs> <laughs> so did you save Max? Or did Max save you? That's real deep right there. Oh man, that was good. Mm -hmm. That had everything. All right guys, so that was our reaction to episodes 13 and 14. And in regards to episode 14, Boy, did that one pack in so much, but honestly, it was all really well paced. Yeah. Like we had like a crime drama for a second. We had new witches, a child witch trying to figure himself out, a family, like just like a father who was like, just confused and conflicted and blamed his wife. And also at the same time, we had the review of Leo, finally. I got to know what he does and it's even better than I expected. Honestly, I'm so glad that he's on our side. Yeah. Uh, but sad that he also had to leave and it's a forbidden love. Oh my God, this episode really had everything for me. Um, and I love that like Phoebe and Piper weren't really involved. It was mostly like Prue, but I think it was Prue's story to kind, it was her journey to go yeah. through this. Yeah. and. This is getting back to the thing that I mentioned in the last episode. Mm -hmm. The sound that Leo makes when he's like appearing or disappearing or healing oh. is the sound that played when when Prue's mom was like oh. coming to her in the oh. pool. So my, I mean, it, it could just be that that's the sound of magic. So it could actually be her mom. But in my in my like head, my mm -hmm. theory is that leo came to her like as a vision of her mom to like help heal okay. her of her fear and rescue her from the pool maybe that's a good theory i like it overall 10 out of 10 episodes both of these episodes really hit and they were really great honestly i can't wait to see what's next but guys you know the deal let us know what you thought of these episodes down below we want to give a big thank you to our patrons thank you so much to everyone who has signed up over there just enjoying all the buffy and charmed watch alongs they're completely unedited and if you want to join in on the fun go over to our patreon at patreon.com slash the horror bandwagon you'll also get your name listed at the end of these episodes benefits start at three dollars and up and if you want to join our YouTube membership where you will unlock exclusive emotes and members only lives and watch alongs, you can go click the join button on our YouTube page. Big thank you to those YouTube members and those who are also YouTube members and Patreon members. You guys are awesome. 
But until next time, we have been your source for horror analysis, criticism, and spooky, okay? And sometimes kooky entertainment. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.